Okay, we're going to get into rational expressions, and, and first I want to explain what a rational expression is. It's the ratio of two polynomials, so two polynomials in a fraction, in a quotient. Um, the numerator and the denominator are both polynomials. And we've talked about um, this before, but just want to real quickly go back to when you have a rational expression, you have restrictions that on the variable, what the variable cannot equal, and that comes from the denominator. The denominator cannot equal zero. So for this one, what you would do to find the restrictions is factor the denominator and then find what would make the denominator zero. So in this case, x cannot equal zero or five because if x is zero, that would make this zero and it would multiply the denominator to be zero. If x is five, it would make this parentheses zero and the denominator would be zero as well there. Okay, so if I'm simplifying a rational expression, all I'm going to do um, is factor both numerator and denominator. So the, this numerator here factors into x minus 2 times x plus 1. And the denominator of 2 can factor out, and I'm left with 2 times parentheses x plus 1. And after that, you're looking at what can cancel out. So my x plus 1s can cancel out. You can only cancel them out if it's the whole binomial. Um, I cannot cancel this 2 with that 2. It does because the 2 in the numerator is in a binomial, so I can't cancel out a portion of a binomial without canceling out the whole thing. So that would make this x minus 2 over 2. And my restrictions still come from my denominator before I canceled out. So what it means is that x cannot equal negative 1. Okay, so when I'm multiplying, very similar. Um, you need to factor all parts to it, both numerators and both denominators. So for this one, the 3x plus 1 cannot be factored. I can't factor anything out. It's a linear. Um, the numerator for that one, I can factor out a 4x, and I'm left with x plus 1. And then in the numerator here, I can factor out an x. I'm left with x squared plus 2x. I'm sorry, x squared plus 3x plus 2 over, and I can factor out a 3, and I'm left with x plus 1. Now, if you notice, this quadratic can still be factored, so I'm going to factor that. I'm going to rewrite everything. 3x plus 1, 4x times x plus 1 x and that factors into x plus 1 times x plus 2 and 3 times x plus 1. Okay, now let me go back. I missed something here when I was factoring this and I factored out a 3. It should make this first coefficient a 3 there. So that should be 3 times 3x three plus 1 on both of those. Sorry about that. There we go. Now, cancel out all your like um, binomials or terms that are either in the top and on the top and the bottom. It doesn't matter which fraction it is, it's cross canceling. So for this 3x plus 1 and this 3x plus 1, I can cancel those out. 
I have this x plus 1 and this x plus 1. As long as one is on top, one is on bottom, you can cancel them out. And this x can cancel out with that x, with not the 4, but with the x. And then after that, after everything's canceled out, you just multiply straight across. The only thing I have in the numerator is x plus 2. The only thing I have in the denominator is 4 times 3, so I have x plus 2 divided by 12. Now again, to find my restrictions, it comes from the denominator before we canceled out. So because of this x, that means x cannot equal 0. Because of this x plus 1, that means x cannot equal negative 1. And because of this 3x plus 1, that means that x cannot equal negative 1 over 3. You don't need to worry about this 3 because it doesn't have an x, only the terms with the x. Okay, dividing polynomials, or I'm sorry, dividing rational expressions um, is going to be very similar to multiplying. I'm going to first factor everything. So I have x squared minus 4 becomes x minus 2 times x plus 2 over x and divided by nothing can factor from the numerator there. And what I can do is factor out a 3x and I'm left with x squared minus 4 and then that can factor Okay, so I'm bad at editing this. Um, I'm still learning on that part. So go back. Ed, I wrote the question down incorrectly. Um, it should have been x squared minus 4 over x divided by 3x cubed minus 12x divided by 5x cubed. So again, I'm going to factor both parts, x minus 2 times x plus 2 over x divided by 3x, this becomes x squared minus 4. Now that x squared minus 4 is going to factor into x minus 2 times x plus 2. And what you do when you're dividing, just like other fraction rules, when you're dividing by a fraction, you can instead multiply by its reciprocal. So this first rational expression is going to stay the same. But instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply, and I'm going to change this to the reciprocal. And now it's the same as multiplying. My cross out your like binomials on top and bottom, x plus 2, x minus 2. And I have an x here, and this is x to the third. So what happens is that I have x times x times x there. It's not going to be x to the third anymore. I'm canceling out with 1, so it's going to become x squared. So I'm left with 5x squared in my numerator, and the only thing in my denominator is 3. And remember, x cannot equal 0, positive 2, negative 2, and you have to go back to the original denominator as well. Um, because that's x though, it's just an x to the third, that means that x cannot equal 0 as well. already have that. I don't need to list it, but you do need to pay attention to that part of it. Because, because that was in the denominator, I need to include those in my restrictions as well. Okay, here's some you try problems. Um, go ahead and try these, and we can you can check them first thing the next day when you get back. Um, sorry about the mistakes on on this one. Uh, sometimes that will happen, and I'm not I haven't figured out how to edit this yet, so I apologize.